Hi guys, welcome to the real reviews. If you guys did not watch my last video, I'll put it in the description. But in the last video, I was saying how I was having feeding problems with different bees. So, so today I'm going to be showing you uh, so the Leap Force BBs. So there are two Leap Force BBs, and then this Game Face BBs. So my prediction is this, these ones aren't going to work, but only the but both these Elite Force are going to work. So the Game Face and the one of these Elite Force are the same weight, so they both are 0.25 gram BBs. So, I already loaded them into each speed loader, and so I'll be shooting it, and I'm going to be using first with the mag that it came with, and also with an Evike Banff mag, Gen 2. And I'm not sure if I forgot to mention this, but I'll also be using the BBs that it came with. I, I measured these with the scale, and they are 0.2 grams. So, so first off, I'm going to be shooting the Elite Force 0.2 gram BBs. So these are the Leap Point 2 gram BBs, and I'm going to load them in. Is this speed loader broken? This speed loader might be broken. Okay, now it's fine. Okay, that should be enough. So now I'm going to shoot them, I'm going to shoot some on semi and then some on full auto. So I'm going to be shooting at those cards and those cans. So you see it locked in, the mag locked in. So the mag locked in so it won't come out so it should be feeding perfectly. So he's going to be doing some test fires at the... the uh, what are those? Okay, the, the, the silver thing. So see, it's shooting fine. Okay, so the first target is going to be the point twos. The second one is going to be the Elite Force point two five, And then the last one, so the ones farthest to your right, is going to be the game force. Point two five. Then I'm also going to be shooting full auto to show you that guys it's feeding perfectly. I'm going to be shooting at the barbecue. So now it's out of beef. Okay. So now I'm going to be loading up the Elite Force 0.25 Gram BBs. Looks like this. Okay. And I'm still using the knife that it came with. Last video, uh, I said that I was going to order the KE120C mag, and they did not work. Oops. Yeah, so they did not even fit in the mag well. They just kept on sliding back up. So now for the 0.25 Elite Force. I'm going to be shooting at the barbecue again. Okay, so it's off one. So now I'm shooting at the second target. Okay. And then shooting also at the can and the bottle. Okay, now full auto at the barbecue. So, yep, I did not even hear a misfeed or a double feed. It might have looked like double feeds, but just because they were shooting really fast. So now the game phase, 25. They are in black use. And by the way, it's kind of hard for me to aim with this mask. It's kind of like a pink wall dye mask, so it's just hitting against the stock. So I'm not really aiming, I'm just kind of redirecting the BBs but still aiming kind of towards the middle. Now with the 0.25, oh, kind of sticking up, maybe push it down. Get it. So shooting at the barbecue again, it locked in, of course. Now to the barbecue. I can't really 
see the BBs, but I hear it hitting. Okay, now to the third one, and also the can. Okay, and now for the can. Oh shoot, okay, I got a BB, so I didn't get to do the full auto test yet, so I'm gonna go do that. So the problem with the box that it comes with, with the BBs, is that uh, it's kind of not like a really bottle, so you can't pour it in, so you have to like, kind of just grab handfuls of it and try to put it in the tube. Okay, so what I would recommend you guys to do is just to empty this out and just put it into a normal plastic bottle, or like, a, like if you guys have just an empty Elite Force one, that would work perfect. Load these in. Okay, so yeah. Maybe that can make a little bit of a mess. Okay, well, then, and then now I'm going to be full auto at the barbecue. So first, let me just shoot one. Okay, so shooting, and then full auto. Not sure if you guys can see it, but I'm going to shoot at the bottom of the cardboard box. Does that? It doesn't really feed perfectly. So yeah. So most of them just kind of dove down because of the low FPS. I don't know why. It's not the mag because the mag worked fine with the Elite Force. So it's probably just the BBs. So yep. So now we're gonna go look at the. Oh, yeah. almost forgot the stock BBs. Again, it might take me a little while to dump these in because I do not have a funnel. So I'm predicting that these BBs should work because it came with the gun. So I don't think the company would give us BBs that won't work. But yeah, just gonna dump them in. Just Okay, there. That was fun. So now we do the same mag. And then these ones just already saw all the targets. I'm just going to be shooting the barbecue and the bottle. Load all of them in. Put it on stage. Just walked in. So now first at the barbecue. Okay, don't think I missed one. Okay, now full auto. At the barbecue. Okay, that's nice. And now at the bottom of the, uh, the box. Okay, that's a pretty good grouping for a full auto. I still have a little bit more, so. Okay, now it's up. Wow, okay, so the stock BBs do work. So, I really don't know why some of these BBs work and the others don't. It might just be the quality of the BB, because they both are the same way I meant with all of these BBs, and they both are all either 0.25 or 0.2s. So, now I'm going to be loading them into the E-Mic Vamp Max. Yes. So, First, I'm going to be loading the 0.25 and then see, yeah, see how it's easier to pour it in with the bottle rather than a, this jar where you have to like kind of just pick it out. So, so, you can tell the difference between the stock mag, which is the one it came with, and the e-bike Biff Max, because the e-bike Biff Max has this clear part. So, so if this doesn't work, I'm probably going to be uh, returning the e-bike dance mat. Okay. Yep, the e-bike 
fully loaded. Now I'm gonna shoot it. Now the Evac Big Mac also does lock in, so yes. The semi now at the barbecue. Okay, it didn't misfeed any for the semi. Let's shoot it at that sun. Okay. okay, now full auto. I'm just gonna be shooting at the bottom of the box. You see how it does that thing, like how the ones with the game face BBs were doing? It just shoots it. Like not all the BBs come out. So it's gonna be finishing up this one with a semi. Oh, and just if you guys didn't know, I'm using the Titan 11.1V volt uh, battery. So. Okay, so now for the point twos. So I'm thinking that it would just do the same thing as it did with the point two five, but I'm just gonna do it anyways. I got all of these BBs off of Amazon. So. I'm not gonna load. Actually, I'll just load all of it. Then. Yeah, that, that, that's good. I don't want to waste my beans. Okay. Now for the Elite 4.2 gram beans with the Evite Big Mac Gen 2. So now with the point two, um, point two. So they shoot final semi, and now this is auto, full auto. Okay, that's very interesting. So the e bike mag does work with the point twos, which I'm thinking it does because uh, maybe that the 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 mag spring that comes with. It might only work for point twos instead of point point uh, point two fives. The point two fives are heavier than point twos, so the spring might not be able to push it off as fast as the 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 RPS can go. Yeah. And now with the game phase point two fives. So if my prediction is true, it should do the same thing as the point two fives. But let's just test it out because this is what this video is supposed to be for. Oh, take a while. Yeah. Make sure if you buy this game face, just make sure you have a funnel or have an empty bottle. Wow, oh, it makes it such a mess. Okay, that should be enough. I just filled it kind of one fourth way of the speed loader. So that should be at least 40 degrees. And now for full auto and some with the game face. So it does still up here. And then now back on semi. So it does shoot. And then now for full auto. So I predicted the same thing that happened with the .25 on the least. So you can see the difference between uh, how it's kind of louder if it's. it's um, so, this is how it sounds like whenever it um, doesn't have any BBs in it. So it sounds louder. So now for the, the BB that it came with. So, so also you bought Gen 2 bank mag. And after this, we will go look at the results of the, uh, the target. Okay. And then with the stop BBs, locked in. The semi feeds fine. And then now full auto. So you can see it kind of misfeed a little, because you can just hear it, but that's okay because um it's shooting at like at least 25 RPS. 
or around first half of the year. So, so it's kind of, I'm kind of expecting, like I'm, I'm expecting it to uh, misbeat a little, but it kind of shot the majority of it, not really like the point two five on either game face or the course. So now I'm going to look at the targets. Or, yeah. So some of them I shot more than others, but most of them were kind of directed towards the middle and a little towards the right. Like, you can see how the middle, you can see uh, how it's going towards the right. And then, to the right, uh, so the game face did pretty good. But I shot the most on that one, so. But if, if I were you and you were playing CQB, uh, and you didn't have a tracer, or, well, either a flashlight, I wouldn't be using the game face, because I could barely even see it. So I couldn't really re redirect that, just kind of, just kind of shot it a lot at the middle. So thank you for watching guys. Bye.